Hi everyone, I'm Coach Joe with Fit and Flourishing. I am a credential teacher, certified personal trainer, and REBT mindset coach. I am also your cheerleader. I teach you how to be your own cheerleader so that you can be fit and flourishing. In today's video, I wanna talk about the real reason why you keep gaining that weight back and the real reason why you can't keep it off. You ready? Okay, the real reason why you keep self-sabotaging and you keep gaining the weight back is because your fitness container is too small. I know, you're like, what? What is that? Hear me out. Most of us who have lost weight are actually accustomed to being in a bigger body. We're accustomed to having a certain feeling about our, our bodies, a certain feeling around food, a certain feeling around exercising and a certain feeling around striving to gain weight or to lose weight. Sorry about that. So your fitness container is where you're comfortable. I was very, 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 very comfortable for a long time at a larger size. I was, I wanted to lose weight and I kept saying, I want to lose weight. I want to lose weight, but I would, I would lose the weight and then gain it back and lose the weight and then gain it back. And that's because I actually wasn't comfortable being smaller. I didn't know what I would do if weight loss wasn't my struggle, if wanting to be smaller wasn't my struggle. What would my life look like if that was no longer the thing I was worried about? And I actually see this happen in relationships to you guys where it's like, well, everything's going fine, but you self-sabotage because you're like, no, I'm so used to having problems in relationships that I have to self-sabotage so that there's a problem. Same thing with your fitness container. So some of us will lose weight and we get down to like, you know, our goal weight or whatever, but we can't hold it there. We can't stay there for multiple reasons. Number one, the weight loss plan is, too, is not sustainable. Number two, we're uncomfortable at that weight internally. So how do we fix it? Number one, you want to be on a sustainable fat loss plan. What that means is you're on a plan that you can, you may have to cut out some foods temporarily, but you have to be able to do what you're doing for a very long time. Okay. Number one. Number two, get rid of that deadline. The deadline mentality says, when I get to my goal weight, I'm going to stop doing this. And you gain the weight back. That's the deadline mentality. Get rid of the deadline mentality. Say, this is, this is what I do. The affirmation for that is I'm healthy. Healthy people move. Healthy people eat healthy food. So by getting rid of the deadline for your fat loss, you are making this a lifestyle so that when you get to your goal weight or your healthy weight, I should say, you're not feeling the urge to go back to anything. No, this is who you are. Okay. And lastly, I want you to visualize what would that mean to you? What would that look like? How would you schedule your day? What would you spend your time doing besides thinking about losing weight? What a concept. What would you do when you get there? And how would you integrate being healthy into your life? If you need more help with expanding your fitness container, you can find me on Instagram at underscore coach dot joe you can find me at fit the letter in flourishing.com or you can send me an email at coaching at fit and flourishing.com i'm here to help and i know you can do this